injured here. 2v2 Caldera Refinery Blue Team. Rise plays a Chaos Sorcerer Offensive and Disruptive Commander. Fight Smiley by default has a bunch of spells to use. Floyd alongside is a Hive Tyrant, very durable commander. Walks through cover, cannot be suppressed. Good offense and support. Starts off melee. Red team, we have Mustafa as a Force Commander, offensive melee, quite first attack and tank, disrupt and support with some buffs. And alongside Mustafa is Lucidic as a Warlock, offensive melee, good mobility with fleets, can also leap into melee combat passively. Could be quite durable and disruptive late game. Howling Banshees out the gate for Lucidic, light infantry unit with power weapons. Mustafa with the usual tactical marine squad, Rise, Chaos Space Marines into Heretics and Floyd going for his favoured build these days which is double Hormigants, double Termigants, usually with a Venom Cannon improved synapse and Warp Field Hive Tyrant, we'll see how it goes. Double Hormigants can be so dangerous in a first engagement especially backed up by the basic synapse of a Hive Tyrant straight away, Force Commander chasing the Chaos Sorcerer and everyone coming mid, you see the leap into combat there from the Warlock, knocking down those Kel Space Marines, such a powerful passive leap he has. Heretics will cap mid, blue team have this 2 to 1 now, big destructor on those Heretics who retreat. Warlock trying to chase them down, get another model but he's not going to be able to. Here come these second Heretic squad and this Warlock's in trouble now, very very quickly got into trouble. Termigants and Kel Space Marines turning a range fire onto him and he goes down. These Dara Avengers have their aspects, eat some Doom Bolts. Such a great upgrade for these guys. Gives them shields, a grenade, and fleet, and a health buff. Pretty much a no brainer purchase in tier 1 if you're using Dara Avengers. Apparently, Banshee's backing off for Lucidic. Doesn't want to lose a model, but might. Now in retreat. Pyre of Tyrant got a hit, but didn't take out a model. Howling Banshee's pretty much a glass cannon melee unit. Will always bleed you in tier 1, but they can wipe squads out very quickly, especially if they catch them in retreat. And especially if they catch heavy infantry in retreat. 494, 466 early on, 2 to 1 cap for blue. Looks like they're milling around the center. Need to push west a bit, I think, because here is Mustafa with double tactical marines capping up very quickly as they cap faster than any other unit. Very durable heavy infantry that can be very versatile as you progress. And look at this, we have a Chainsword and Storm Shield Force Commander. Really, really great piece of war gear. Grants immunity to suppression and damage resistance when you activate the defend ability, but it does slow you down. And this thing is getting a buff with the next elite patch. It will now give him 100 health. Of course, it gives you 200 health in retail. You see him using it there to get close to this Havox, but he's taking more damage as he does get closer. Scouts getting way too close, Tactical Marines getting too close as well and these guys very lucky not to lose a model, all kicking off in the middle as well with a Shuriken Cannon and a Havoc squad. Who's going to be able to counter these setup teams better? Hive Tyrant of course can charge, Ryze could also get Raptors, Mustafa could get Assault Marines and Lucidic could get some Rangers. Howling Banshee's capping mid, here is the Guardian Weapon team with the Shuriken Cannon, Hive Tyrant just walking through it, cannot be suppressed of course, but he does take more damage the closer he gets and Floyd countering the setup team just with movement there, distracting with his high of tyrant, then distracting with the Hormagons and manages to force it back. Here we do see Warpfield up on the high of tyrant, 480, 432 and a full retreat from Lucidic. Nope, Guardian Weapon Team is still in play, Warlock is back to his feet and is chasing this high of tyranny is so difficult to take down early on with this warp field though. Destructor on those termigants. Both of these guys upgraded with their toxin sats. You can tell by this plus icon above their unit indicator there. Such a great upgrade this as well. I think it's a 30% damage increase or something crazy like that. Also buffs their health and gives them crippling poison which is going to be vital against these banshees. Shuriken Cannon sets up for that Guardian Weapon Team and High of Tyrant decaps that fully matured wreck point all kicking off down here as well we have Havox coming out of infiltration from that Zinch Worship Aspiring Champion Heretics 
two aspiring champion heretic squads. That is so dangerous getting in amongst these tactical marines. And almost finishes that squad. Look at that. 12 hit points on these guys. That is so lucky. Rise almost wiping out tactical marines in tier one, which is the cardinal sin for a space marine player. Do not lose your tactical marines in tier one. Warlock leaping into these havocs. Rise just forgot about them there as he chased those tactical marines now trying to bash some power. He might see him decap this natural VP as well. Ormagaunt's capping this power. Three gens up for blue team. Three gens here as well. But red team are going tier two first. Hive Tyrant still stomping around. Being a huge nuisance to red team here. Really haven't dealt with that guy at all. Warlock being a nuisance as well. Big destructor on those termigants. But he does get away. And Heretics will cap mid VP for a 2 to 1 for blue. 462, 412. Heading into tier 2. Lucidic getting a quick Wraith Lord on the field. Will we see that Venom Cannon Hive Tyrant? Or will he go for Crushing Claw? Here comes the Guardian Weapon team. Rise. Perhaps some Plague Marines. Or when he sees the Wraith Lord, certainly you might just get a Last Cannon for this Havocs. Or maybe an auto cannon, of course. Auto cannons are great these days. Force Commander has Artificer, so he's going to be really, really tough. The Chainsword gives him a passive damage resistance versus range fire. 20%, I think. And double Tactical Marines caught in retreat by double Hormagons here. Power of Tyrant doesn't even get involved going mid. And Mustafa really hasn't used his Tactical Marines very well thus far. He has scouts with shotguns and a sergeant. These are fully upgraded scouts now. Although they can get their infiltration upgrade, of course. Termigants losing a model from that grenade. Havoc setting up in the face of the retreating force commander. And he's surely going to go down here. Yes, Termigants forcing melee as he retreated. There's a destructor. 462365. Force commander did level up as he was dead. Here is the Wraith Lord now. Really great melee walker for Eldar. Arguably the best melee walker once you get to tier 3 and it can get itself healed. Can also get a shoulder mounted range weapon, which makes it really, really versatile in combat. 458, 365, almost taking down this Chaos Sorcerer. Blue team would have now seen this Wraith Lord. What are they going to do about it? Ryze getting a Dreadnought as well. So perhaps Marco Zinch for this thing. Takes out a Havoc model, I believe that was. Yes, and we do see Venom Cannon and Improved Synapse on this Hive Tyrant. Really nice ranged weapon with splash damage. 4 4 1, 3 6 5. Heretic trying to decap mid. This is risky. They're going to eat a big hit from this Wraith Lord. Bang! Does splash damage, of course, like all walkers do in melee. I mean, they don't have ranged weapons in a way, but the Wraith Lord keeps his splash damage without with a ranged weapon. And he's gone for the Shuriken Cannon. Shoulder mounted, could fire on the move. Look at that. And it does a huge amount of DPS as well. I think it's something crazy like 40 DPS. Zone Throat on the field for Floyd. Now getting some Warriors, perhaps. Adrenal Glands to support these double Hormagaunts here. Double Hormagaunts under melee synapse. A real, real nuisance for infantry to deal with, but they don't want to get into a fight with the Wraith Lord. Gets a sink kill and slams this guy into the ground. Now a 2 to 1 cap for red. 394, 365, Mustafa going straight to tier 3. Look at this. Very risky. Howling Banshees with their Exarch and their Aspect chasing these Chaos Space Marines here, which are going to retreat through a Wraith Lord and Banshees. That is very, very painful, and they go down. Howling Banshee's retreat with four models. Mustafa going for a Predator. And Ryze has gone for a Markov Corn Chaos Dreadnought. Good synergy with the Chaos Sorcerer, of course, because he can teleport it out of trouble with his handy global. And it does seem to get in trouble quite a lot with its Blood Rage ability, which is much better thought out in Elite, I think. Doesn't last quite as long. Not 
as big of a commitment. 363, 365, it's very close. Red with the 2 to 1, and look at this map control for Red Team. Mustafa busy capping up this west side. Ouch, nice doom bolts on those tactical marines, taking out a model and a full retreat. But he did cap this wreck point, and he decapped this somehow, or someone did. 349, 365. Blood letters on the way for Rise now. And we do have Adrenal Gland Warrior Brood. Turns them into a melee heavy unit that emits a melee synapse. You can see this blight bright even green glow on these Hormagaunts. They will have plus 75% health and plus 10 melee skill. Here comes the Wraith Lord. The only thing really stopping Blue Team from sweeping across the map and there is Ethereal Slash almost wiping these Hormagaunts. Look at that! And he is gonna wipe these Hormagaunts. That's the Witchblade of Kurnus. And he's gone for Cloak of Shadows, the least seen Warlock armor by far, but is very nice. Gives you cons Cloak and Shroud, it's called. Also has Heart of Darkness, Laz Cannon getting hits on that Wraith Lord, which is still moving. Blood Letters teleporting on the Bright Lance. Venom Cannon now getting hits on that Wraith Lord, and it's in big trouble. Here comes some Howling Banshees. Something needs to tie that Hive Tyrant up. Bloodlet is teleporting in, now a power melee unit, but they did finish off that Wraithlord run right into a grenade though. Now they are warp shifted out. I need to flee I think, 344-331. Twin Ink, Laz Cannon, Predator. Heretics getting into melee with some tactical marines who both have plasma guns. Very, very odd. Power of Tyrant now level 2. Chaos Sorcerer, also level 2, has the Rod of Warfire. You see a brood nest going up here. Support structure for Tyrannids that the Hive Tyrant can put up from his global bar. 100 red gets you a reinforcement point anywhere on the map and some health regen. Centre is blue. East side is blue. Lucidic lost quite a lot there. And Rise and Floyd go tier 3. Mustafa losing the Predator as well. Really should have got some tier 2 stuff out. And this Dreadnought has pretty much no opposition. Only these Howling Banshees with their Exarch can pose any threat. And they don't want to go toe to toe with it certainly. They take out the Chaos Sorcerer though. Level 1 Warrior Brew, level 1 Zone Throat. Not much stuff has leveled. Level 2 Force Commander. Hive Tyrant coming mid to try and revive this Chaos Sorcerer I would think 344-285 Chaos Dreadnought chasing off some Dire Avengers these guys have their Exarch now and Seer Council on the way for Lucidic 700-100 344-276 now a single cap for Blue and Dire Avengers having caught here and it's all kicking off here no idea why Mustafa gave both of these guys plasma guns to try and shoot down the warriors quickly. That's all I can think of. Is that really worth spending 70 power on however much requisition though? With blood letters around and everything else. 344267. It's now a one to one cap, and Mustafa is going for a librarian. Seer Council are on the field for Lucidic. Really fantastic melee unit leap into melee combat with these nasty power weapons they have they rip heavy infantry up pretty quickly and they're reasonably durable as well 500 hit points each also emit a passive buff as you can see these yellow circles below all of this infantry double cap now for blue starting to creep across the map again up this east side and fire dragons on the way for Lucidic to try and deal with this dreadnought I think the Floyd is getting a swarm lord though I don't see red team coming back from this really triple cap now for blue zone throw getting a big shot high of Tyrant Biden his time now is gonna pull back to the brood nest and some support from blood letters 
and this Chaos Dreadnought. We have some heretics here as well. And we see some Zinch worship. Here comes the Dreadnought. Knows that he doesn't have much to fear in this little mob. Blood letters teleporting in. Seer Council retreat. Leaving these tactical marines to fend for themselves. And tactical marines versus blood letters is not a very fair fight. Blood letters will rip them to pieces with this power melee that they have now. Librarian getting too close to the Chaos Dreadnought. It eats a special attack, goes flying, and now retreats. 344181. It's a 2 to 1 cap. Swarmlord is on the field. So are the Fire Dragons. Quick range unit with a melter gun, short range, good versus all targets. Do they really want to get close to this thing? No, this is a Swarm Lord super unit for Tyranids. Grey in melee also emits a speed buff and a reinforcement synapse, has vehicle armor. Chaos Dreadnought catching scouts in retreat. Bang. Also have a Chaos Predator and Lucidich going for a Guardian Weapon Team. Mustafa has some Terminators and they are Assault Terminators. Can they turn the tide now? Red Team, Thunder Hammers and Storm Shields for these guys. Melee heavy weapons are the Thunder Hammers, so good versus all targets. But if you want anti-infantry, they will change to Lightning Claws. Keep the Thunder Hammers though for now, since it also gives them more health. Since they have shields, they get 5,400. Will be good versus the Swarm Lord and that tank and this Dreadnought, of course. But where are they? Now under the fence, so they're even slower. Huge engagement here. We see Blood Rage from this Chaos Dreadnought. You lose control of your Corn Dreadnought. It does more damage, takes less damage, and moves faster. And now he's got control back. Blood Rage has worn off. Here come the Assault Terminators. These guys are awesome in melee and very, very tough. They're going to be able to soak up a lot of damage from Red Team, but they need to make it count. They need to push here. We have a Rocket Launcher or Missile Launcher even on this Tactical Marine trying to shoot at this Swarm Lord, but look how much damage these Terminators are taking. That is an insane amount of damage. He's going to lose these guys very, very quickly. Librarian teleports them out of trouble just in time. That was a crazy engagement. Why did they send them in alone? Guardian Weapon Team setting up. Swarm Lord makes it panic and retreat though. 344119. Tactical Marines getting too close to this Chaos Dreadnought Mustafa, not having the best of games it must be said. Just about got these Terminators out of there, down to a single model, and they're not cheap to reinforce Terminators, 150-50 I believe. Force Commander with Defend Up revives his Warlock buddy, level 3, Force Commander now level 4 because of that revive, but these two retreat through a lot of nasty melee stuff including the Swarm Lord Dreadnought just passes him by 330 119 I don't think Red Team are going to be able to come back they needed that engagement to go well with the Assault Terminators when the Blue Team didn't know they were around but they just got focused down so hard and with this Brood Nest here 319 119 Webway Gate up from Lucidich. Another one here. Infestation. Capillary tower going up. Tactical Marines in a big trouble getting chased down by this Swarm Lord. Here we see the Fire Dragons, but there is Leech Essence and there is an Imperial Abyss from Rise, and that is absolutely devastating. That is the Chaos Nuke, which owns everything ever, as you can see, especially if you get to this central area here. That was very 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 painful Hive Tyrant levels to 5 and it's going to be a triple cap for blue are they taking east? they are taking east here comes Seer Council alongside a Warlock level 3 and he has the Ethereal Slash and here it is look at the damage that thing does then leaps into the Heretics Warlock is such a cool melee commander here are Blood Letters as well again absolutely owned by this Seer Council here now they warp shift out but you can't retreat when you're warp shifted of course well you can but you'll stop being warp shifted Warlock also taking down these warriors Floyd not paying attention Bloodlet has taken out Rise has lost a lot of stuff 
29889. Can Red Team come back here? It's all kicking off west side like crazy. Assault Terminators need to leg it out of there. Teleported out by the Librarian again. Didn't have the support again, did they? 29880. Fire Dragons putting out a lot of hurt alongside that Bright Lance on that Swarm Lord. Power of Tyrant. Peppering away with his Venom Cannon now tied up by the Force Commander. Does he have an accessory? He doesn't. He needs to get the Sacred Standard, I think. If he had the resources, he needs to keep reinforcing his Terminators. What are Fire Dragons doing here? Get taken out. Got way too close. Chaos Predator now with Mark of Corn, boosting the damage of its side sponsors. 27978. 2 to 1 cap for red. They have this east side. And they have a webway gate there, which I don't think Blue Team know about, so they can keep harassing that VP. Chaos Dreadnought guarding the central VP makes the Warlock flee with fleet. West side is being capped by Blue. Venom Brood getting taken out by the Librarian and avoid the Autark drop. Red team need to cap that side up. Autark jumping in now. Now in retreat. Chaos Dreadnought coming all the way over. Two and a half levels up. Webway Gate still here and runs over his allied capillary tower there, the Treadnought. Not the best move. 27378 Land Raider Phobos on the way for Rise. Chaos Sorcerer leaving a cap to those Warrior Brood. Bright Lance shooting at the Chaos Dreadnought, taking tons and tons of health of it. Good grief, lost half of his health there in a few seconds. Here come these Assault Terminators again, teleporting in, relying on this Librarian to save them every engagement, aren't they, pretty much? We need to take out this brood nest quickly. Tactical Marines capping the west side meanwhile. What level are these guys? They are level 3. Almost taking out that zone throw, but they do take out the zone throw. Now going after the Tire of Tyrant puts up his warp field. There is a Tyrana formation. And the central tower sends those Terminators flying. And here is the land raid of Phobos. With those twinning las cannons on the side sponsors, they do a lot of damage to Terminators. Terminators are a large unit, so anti-vehicle weapons will hit them 100% of the time as if they were a vehicle. Grenade on those heretics, nicely done, but the scout squad did wipe. Heretics didn't lose everything though, and they are reinforcing off that broodness. You see the range of reinforcement that broodness gives you. Autark with her spear trying to take down this Predator. 33 hit points, but she runs away. 229, 55. It's a double cap for red. They've done amazing well to hold on here. Have these guys on the east side guarding this VP with that webway gate. Perhaps Lucidich could try and sneak one mid. Seer so Council don't want to fight a corn Dreadnought. Red team still have this west side. We have a last cannon now on the field for Mustafa. Terminators cannot level, of course, but they've done reasonably well. They've taken a lot of damage, but they have held up and soaked up a lot of damage. East side all kicking off. Sir Council running in, trying to catch and cause some synapse explosions, as are the Howling Banshees. Swarm Lord is there, though. Blood Rage, Mark of Corn, Chaos Dreadnought now wears off. And a Lictor on the field is capping. And Red Team going to lose this side, I think. Swarm Lord trying to find this Webway Gate. And now he has, surely. Trying to take out models, though, as he can. Rise has some Havocs. And he's using it to suppress this West side. Very good choice late on. Many people neglect to get set up teams late game. Assault Terminators will take down this Land Raider. You do have to be very careful with the Land Raider Phobos. Doesn't have the close combat that the Land Raider Redeemer has. Well, the Flamers, which are pretty close combat. And the Predator goes down as well. Rise taking heavy losses from these Assault Terminators. Who are now in melee with Heretics. 
They'll take a while to take them down because they attack quite slowly and they'll be getting sync kills and things. 14555. A 2 to 1 cap for red. Can they pull this off? Another librarian on the way for Mustafa. Didn't even see him lose the first one. Still a swarm lord for Floyd. Can't level up since it's a super unit. Can't effects on the field with the Venom Cannon. Very popular choice these days. Have tag capping mid. This Chaos Dreadnought is still around, level 3 now. Here we see the husk of that land raider. The Terminators will most likely just walk through it. There we go. Taking a lot of damage here. And Bloodletters teleporting in. With that power melee, the Bloodletters will put a lot of damage on these Terminators. Do they have their teleport and cooldown? There is an orbital bombardment, but pretty much misses everything there. Huge waste from Mustafa. That needed to hit big. 133.50. It's a 2 to 1 cap for blue. I thought this game was all over five or six minutes ago. Swarm Lord in there. Khan effects tied up by the Banshees. There's a big smite going off from the Librarian. And huge damage. That was a crazy Ethereal Slash again. But they're all reinforcing off that Swarm Lord, of course. 13335 Terminators backing off. I can't believe those guys are still alive. They've taken so much damage. Warlock will go down, surely. No, gets away. Bloodletters trying to chase him. Yes, they do get him. Now a 2 to 1 cap still for blue. I don't think Red Team will be able to push Lucidich with double Guardian weapon teams and both with Bright Lances because they have these three vehicle armor units on the field to deal with Carnifex, Swarmlord and this Dreadnought. Bloodlet is level 1 for Rise and he has a lot of resources here. Everyone apart from Mustafa floating tons of power. Mustafa having to constantly reinforce these Terminators at 50 power each. He's side uncapped now. 133.22. This Webway Gate still not dealt with or this might be a new one. Lictor runs away, has the vanguard, so he can infiltrate indefinitely. Here come Bloodletters. Don't want to mess with Seer Council though, and he's a level 3 Seer Council. 13312, it's a 1 to 1 cap. Can Redside take East? No, those Dire Fenders getting absolutely owned by ranged Tyranid Fire. Blue team will take East and most likely take the game. Red team doing an amazing job to hang on this long. Another Chaos Predator on the way for Rise. That Webway Gate is taken out. Blue team need to keep an eye on the mid. Tactical Marines decapping here. Can Red team throw everything mid? Cap it and hold it. They have Assault Terminators on the way back up to full health. They're going to take this Dreadnought down I think with double Bright Lances and a Last Cannon hit as well. This is going to be interesting. Tome of Subjugation on the Seer Council that is devastating from Rise. Absolutely owning those Bright Lances. One of them taken down. And there is the victory from Blue with a 2 to 1 cap right at the end. Epic, epic stuff. I thought it was all over for Red, but they did so well to come back. Rise lost so much stuff, but always seemed to be there with some good units. Predator at the end there with no mark. Attack Torching, guys, and I'll see you next time.